Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 67 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss about action controller callbacks. Action controller callbacks are also known as filters since we already discussed about active record callbacks and that work at the different stages of an object's life cycle. The action controller callbacks or filter works before, after and around an action in a controller. Filters are inherited so if you set a filter in your application controller, it will be run on every controller in your application. For example, let's see what I want to say here. Okay, so this is the application controller and you can see that every controller in our application is inherited by application controller. Okay, this is the student controller and if you look at the blocks controller, it is also inherited by application, courses also inherited by projects also inherited by application controller and welcome controller is also inherited by application controller. Okay, so now if I define any callback in application controller that will be inherited by all the controller by default and whenever any controller serves a request that callback written inside the application controller will get executed first and then the uh, it, then or after depends upon what the type of callback is after uh, like before action or after action then the rest of the controller action will get performed okay so let's try to execute a before action callback in application controller before action let's say here we will add a print display message let's copy this and we need to implement this okay so once we define a callback we need to implement that callback just like our active record callback so uh, let's make a private section here F and uh, here the message and here you can write let's say puts I am a filter I am an inherited filter let's make it I am an inherited before action filter okay now save this and whenever you execute a request uh, execute a page now or whenever you send a request to any of the controller in your application first this callback will get executed and then rest of your controller action will perform their intended operations so let's see how this works here you can see that I am at the root page of my application which is pointing to the index action of my welcome controller or index action of the welcome controller into my application. Okay, now let's make some space in the terminal and here you can see whenever I refresh this page, you can see that I am an inherited before action filter. So before the template for this index action rendered, your callback inside the application controller get executed before this action. Why? Because before, uh, as we discussed, that filter actions are inherited. If you define that filter in application controller, it will be applicable on all the controllers in your application. Okay, so we checked it for welcome control. Now let's check it for students controller as well. If you go to the in students index page, you will see that. Uh, at index page this operation uh, this callback get executed i am an inherited before action filter okay now if you go at uh, the new student page it will open the form but before rendering the form it will first uh, execute that callback in your application controller i am an inherited before action filter okay now similarly you can implement the after action callback as well let's implement the after action callback or let's let's say implement a separate callback don't mess with it oh yeah let's make it after display message and here write after action and now we need to implement this section 
so just copy this name and write a method def and here let's implement the code puts let's make some dashed lines I'll copy this and write another puts here time after action filter okay and press the line dash line here save it and now refresh your page so whenever you refresh your students index page you can see that before rendering the index form uh, before rendering the form for creating a new student our before action callback into the application controller get executed and once the rendering has been completed our after action callback inside the application controller get executed here okay so this is how before and after callbacks work and this is how this is why we can say that filters are inherited so if you define it in any controller which you inherited which is inherited by other controller then that filter is applicable on all the controller which inherits that parent controller okay so in our case the application controller is the parent controller and rest of the controllers are inheriting inherited by application controller so if you define any callback in application controller it will be used in all the controller of your application or whatever the controller is inherited by application controller okay so we saw the example of both before and after action so this is just a very basic example of uh, displaying some uh, custom messages or printing some messages uh, here you can perform some complex uh, operations as well like you can execute a query for example if you need a data available in your uh, controller action before any execution of that action so you can write such complex queries or such complex logic in your callback as well for example here you can see let's open the students controller in a student's controller, we have a before action filter, okay, for setting an student for show, edit, update, destroy action. Why? Because for all edit, update and destroy action, we need to fetch a student from the database, okay. So that's why this is a common operation. So that's why we prepare a callback for that and we executed that callback only on show, edit, update and destroy. Here you can see this is the method and we, this is invoked at all destroy update edit and show let's try to see this let's make some space here and now let's open the student let's say three okay so here we visited show page of the student here you can see that uh, first the request coming to the application controller okay and then uh, it performed the query because we have the before filter a eh, before action call in students controller as well so it first faced the student from the database then it rendered the show action template and then it has then it executed the after action callback from application controller okay now if you want to edit this okay if you edit this you can see the form uh, same action before action executed from application controller then the query goes to the students table in the database it faces the student from database and then it renders the template for editing the student and then it executed the after action callback in application controller okay now same thing you can do for update as well let's say i click on the update student it has updated the database so before update you can see that the request is coming to the update action of the student controller then first after coming to the request it has executed the before action callback from application controller then it has faced the data uh, student from the student database student table from the database and then it updated the uh, student and then after performing this action or the task in, uh, decided for this action it has executed the after action callback okay and then it is provided a status okay and similarly when it redirected to the uh, uh, student show page it again come to the student show action then executed the callback from application controller and then faced the data and then executed the after action callback okay
so these are few callbacks example that we saw okay so here we saw the before action and after action callback similarly there is there are uh, ways to execute callback eh, to skip the callbacks as well for example we can write skip callback as well here let's say we can add here skip before action or we can write it like skip after action so just like this you can uh, execute your skip before action and skip after action callback as well okay where the before filter works before serving the request and after filter works once the request has been served by the controllers there are around filters as well like around action and skip around actions okay but uh, we are not discussing that around and skip uh, uh, around action callbacks uh, in this video because uh, there will be a separate video for around action because that is uh, something uh, complex callback because that needs a special implementation using yield keyword so i am not explaining that uh, around callbacks in this video okay because and one more thing that around callbacks works at uh, both before and after serving the request by controller action and it uses the yield keyword so you need to yield a block in that around callback okay so we will see that in a separate lecture so that's all about uh, action controller and filter actions from this video okay so just try to follow the entire video and try to implement callbacks at your end as well and using the before action callback you can uh, practice writing thin controllers because these uh, action controller callbacks allow you to write dry code uh, for example you can see here that we have a callback because we need this query for all show edit update and destroy action so we def decided that uh, we defined that query into our callback and now we don't need to write the same query in uh, update destroy edit and show action okay so that way we can write a uh, thin and optimized controller or you can say that dry controllers as well so these callbacks can help us to write thin controllers okay so that's all from this video try this at your end to get more better with the action controller callbacks and we will meet in the next lecture okay till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe